Good morning, Scarview 235. The La Galera Maduro, five inch, 50 ring gauge, Dominican made. Cigar International's website, or rather their little pamphlet said it was Honduran made. It's not, it's Dominican made with the Mexican Andres wrapper uh, by Jose Blanco. And it literally means in Spanish, rolling room. So those are kind of the fast facts. Uh, notes about the cigar, tasting notes. Before lighting it, I smelled it, just really strong notes of blue cheese, which I have never gotten out of a cigar. I love blue cheese. I, I love Stilton, Roquefort, all of it. Love blue cheese, and so I really like that smell. I was excited about it. It's about a $5 cigar, so my expectations weren't incredibly high. Uh, initially upon lighting it, first quarter of an inch especially was real harsh. Uh, and then it kind of stayed harsh for almost until like right now when I'm in the kind of the final third of the cigar. When I say harsh, I mean kind of mostly kind of accurate. Like if you charred a steak on the grill and you left it on too long, it's that black burned layer. You don't want to eat that, right? It's got a lot of flavor, but it doesn't taste good. It's just overwhelmingly strong and just kind of black nastiness. Uh, the cigar had a lot of that throughout. So as I kind of go through some of these other flavors, keep in mind that on top of that was that charred flavor. Uh, so I get dark chocolate, almost like a chemically chlorine taste. Not bad. Something that I got briefly and kind of went away was almost like an Armagnac brandy. So sometimes tobacco manufacturers will cure leaves and store leaves in former bourbon or brandy barrels. I, I know for a fact that they didn't do that with these cigars, but kind of had those notes, which is kind of interesting. Then a little bit of sweetness and some orange. As I get towards the end here, more orange, almost like a marmalade, more dark rich chocolate, uh, and maybe a little bit of that brandy taste left. Now, why does it have that burnt taste? Well, uh, you know, I lit it properly. Sometimes if you light a cigar wrong and just really torch thin, it can do that, but that normally dissipates. Uh, it didn't really dissipate, and the reason is probably just Simply the way it was fermented, the way it was cured, an error there, nothing a lot you can do about it. Another reason that that happens is either cigars that are too dry, they're smoking too fast, or that are too wet, and you're having to like really, 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 really puff hard on it to get it to go. Not the case, it's been in the humidor for a bit, humidor is perfect, all the other cigars are smoking great. Uh, so it probably, again, is an issue of fermentation. Overall, it's, it's really funny, like I have trouble you know, I know it sounds bad, and I know it sounds like, well, it's just a really harsh cigar. If you were a brand new cigar smoker, this would not be the cigar for you. Right? At least this one example that I have. It's a little bit too harsh. I don't really mind those notes because, again, I get some of that brandy, some of the orange, some of the chocolate coming through it. At $5 a stick, I'm actually going to go with the neutral rating on this. Um, you know, if I was forced to either say don't buy or buy, I would say don't buy. Miss my channel, so I'm not forced to say anything. It does burn perfectly evenly. I've got great smoke production, great draw. Look at this. Barely any effort there, tons of smoke. And again, some of that kind of acrid taste has gone away. So yeah, I'd actually go with a neutral rating on it just because it was a little rough up front, better on the back end. So that's it guys, Scarview 235, like there, Maduro. And that's going to be a neutral rating for me. I do think that you probably, if you smoke five of these, you probably get some that didn't have that burn taste, but this is the only example I have. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Curious to see if other people have that impression. As always, thank you for watching.